Everything you need to know about Soongri's sex scandal. You can say he started his year with a big bang. Soongri, the former member of one of the most successful Korean bands is now embroiled in one of the biggest scandals in K-pop history. Soongri is now in hot water for a slew of severe allegations, including soliciting prostitutes and watching spigam porn. It all started when CCTV footage of an assault at Burning Sun, a club which Soongri owns, was released. But instead of brushing this off as a usual club brawl, the police decided to dig deeper, opening up a Pandora's box of scandal which led to the sorry state soon grease and now. And the best thing? All these happened in a span of just three months. Scroll down for the timeline of events leading from the Burning Sun controversy up until now. January 28, a CCTV footage taken at Burning Sun last year is revealed on a Korean news channel, NBC's News Desk. The video shows the victim, Kim Sang-kyo, getting assaulted by security guards when he attempted to help a woman who he claimed was being sexually harassed in the club. The police start to keep tabs on the nightclub, which they suspect is a hotspot for drug distribution and sexual activities. January 29, a statement is issued by the CEOs of Burning Sun, Lee sung Hyun and Lee Moon-ho. In the statement, they announced that they had fired the staff involved, expressed their apologies for the assault and promised to fully cooperate with the police. They insist that soon Gri was not present at the club that day, and that he's someone they don't see often. February 1st, Soongri's boss and YG Entertainment CEO Yang Hyun Suk confirms that the singer is no longer a part of Burning Sun as he has resigned from all current business roles to prepare for military service. February 2nd, Soongri takes to Instagram to explain his situation. He said that he was not at the scene when the assault incident that started this controversy occurred. He also insisted that as he was only the executive director, and that the operating and managing the club were not, his roles. February 16, during his concert in Seoul, Sungri apologizes to his fans for causing disappointment to so many people. February 17, Burning Sun ceases all operations. February 23rd, Soongri holds a solo concert in Singapore. February 26, Korean news outlet SBS Funny releases a Kakao talk conversation between Soongri and three other people, which suggests his involvement in providing sexual services to VIP members of Burning Sun in exchange for financial support. It is believed that the group chat was created by Sungri himself, with the main purpose of obtaining prostitutes for potential clients. According to the text messages on December 6, 2015, Sungri had sent a text to prepare a spot in the main area of Club Arena, a club in Gangnam, and to call the girls for a foreign client. Shortly after the news hit the headlines, YG Entertainment issued a statement to rubbish the texts. The police decides to deepen their investigations, and soon Grey becomes a suspect. February 27, Soon Grey voluntarily undergoes police questioning over his drug use allegations and provision of sexual services to VIP customers at Burning Sun. The interrogation reportedly lasts for 8.5 hours. He issues a statement via his management, saying that he will cooperate with the police and apologizes again for the issues that have been raised over the past month. February 28, the singer calls off all activities, including his upcoming concerts in Osaka and Jakarta. March 8, YG Entertainment confirms that Soongri is enlisting into the army on March 25th. March 10, Soongri is charged with providing prostitutes and sexual services to his VIP clients. He is under investigation alongside three to four other people who were involved in the Kakai Talk group chat.
March 11, Soongri announces his decision to quit showbiz. He reveals on Instagram, without YG Entertainment's consent, that he thinks it is right for him to retire from this industry. I will cooperate with ongoing investigation and clarify every suspicion. The company follows up with a statement, saying that it is still yet to be decided whether or not Soongri's contract will be terminated. SBS Fun E releases another exclusive report on the scandal, this time bringing two other male singers down with Soongri. They were also believed to have shared the explicit pictures and videos. One of the singers is later identified to be Jung Joon Young, a singer, songwriter, and TV personality. March 12th, more text messages from 2016 are uncovered, suggesting police cover-ups and illegal structures on of Sungri's club, Monkey Museum. March 13th, YG confirms the termination of Sungri's contract. March 14th, Korean magazine Sisa Journal releases messages from 2014, implying Sungri's involvement in the provision of escort services to his business partner. He is also revealed to have gambled overseas, which is illegal for Korean citizens. March 15, Sungri concludes a 16-hour questioning by the police, and says that he plans to request for a delay his enlistment date in order to fully assist with the investigations. The identities of everyone in the Czech group are exposed, with more K-pop stars implicated. The confirmed members include Sungri, Jung Joon Young, Choi Jong Hoon, the member of Tisman quit the band and showbiz on March 14 amid allegations, CN Blues Lee Jong Hyun, his agency maintains that he had left the chat a long time ago, Ewan Suk, former CEO of Yuri Holdings, Mr. Kim, former Burning Sun MD, Mr. E, a relative of a girl group member, a former employee at YG Entertainment, and a friend of Jung Joon Young. Soongri and Jun Young surrender their mobile phones to the police for investigation. Maori Ramen, a food chain founded by Soongri, issues a statement to say that they're cutting ties with Soongri. March 16, new chat love service, allegedly proving Soongri's involvement in sending Korean prostitutes to Japan to entertain business clients. Soongri's rep denies the allegations about sexual favors. It's reported that Jun Young's sex videos in question are being spread among members of the public via the iPhone's airdrop function. Jong Hoon becomes a police suspect, and the erstwhile FT Island leader issues an apology. March 18, Soon Gray's legal team files an official application for his military deferment, which is due to begin on March 25 should the application be denied. Meanwhile, as a result of Singri's scandal, authorities in Korea announces plans to amend laws to allow for deferment if an individual is involved in police investigations, among other factors. We are planning to make an amendment to the law to allow the Military Manpower Administration to postpone one's enlistment if one causes a societal uproar, and enlists for the purpose of escaping from reality, or if there is a request from an investigative authority to delay the enlistment, they stated. Police request for an arrest warrant for Jun Young after his second round of questioning, but reports state that there are no plans for Soon Gri's arrest. YG Entertainment releases another statement, saying that Soon Gri's actions are beyond their control, and that there are plans for Big Bang to return as a quartet after the remaining members have completed their military terms later this year. The police announced that they have secured a statement on Sungri's sexual bribery, and are looking into allegations of overseas sex trafficking and gambling. Meanwhile, Jun Young admits to all charges. Sungri's application for his military postponement is denied, because the form wasn't filled out properly. The application needs to be filed at least five days before his enlistment on March 25th. He's been accused by netizens of deliberately stalling for time. If Sungri is denied the postponement, he will enlist into the army as planned, which may disrupt current investigations. 
March 19, Soon Ri denies all allegations of sexual services and gambling, claiming that it was a case of just fools, just friends who were bluffing and showing off without knowing anything, he says. Soon Gri's name is removed from Big Bang's neighbor profile, leaving only the names of the four remaining members. Big Bang and YG Entertainment are also removed from Soon Gri's official neighbor profile page. Soon Gri is suspected of deleting posts from his Instagram page connecting him to the police. In 2014, he uploaded a picture of him in a police uniform, and captioned, Salute, above picture. It is believed that the uniform belongs to Senior Superintendent Yoon, the police officer suspected of covering up criminal activity involving the controversy. Korean media reports that the police receive a testimony regarding Soon Gri's drunk use from a source at Burning Sun. March 20th, Soon Gri's request for military deferment is approved, and his enlistment date is officially postponed to June 25th, when his status for military duty will be re-evaluated and may be further postponed if there is imprisonment or other unavoidable reasons, according to a statement from the military. NBC's news desk reveals that they have obtained phone conversation recordings about the entry of a minor into Burning Sun last July, alleging that Sungri had been aware of it and had discussed bribing the police. The police have obtained a testimony of Sungri using cocaine overseas at his birthday party in the Philippines. His lawyer has rubbished the claims. Sungri had previously tested negative for drugs during his first round of questioning on February 27. March 29, NBC reveals Soon Gri told members of the chat room to change their phones, destroying the evidence. April 1, Soon Gri booked for embezzlement, revealed to have solicited prostitution, and admits to bribing police union commissioner of the Seoul Metropolitan Police Agency, Won Kyung Hwan, announced in a press conference on April 1 that they have booked Soon Gri and Yoon Suk on charges of embezzlement. They also announced that Soongri violated the Anti-Bribery Act, and determined that Soongri did indeed solicit prostitution. April 3, Soongri suspected of embezzling tens of thousands of dollars from Club Burning Sun The police have discovered new facts that indicate Soongri was using Club Burning Sun as a means of money laundering. While tracing the flow of funds from Burning Sun, the police discovered bank accounts, which they suspected of being fake deposit bank passbooks, passbooks whose owner and user are different, and began an additional investigation on it. During the investigation, five of the people whose names were on the fake deposit bank passbooks were summoned and the police obtained a statement revealing that the money, in the fake deposit bank passbooks, were sent to a bank account that was related to Sungri. According to the investigation authority, the Burning Sun investigation team suspects that the Burning Sun management including Sun Gri used the fake deposit bank passbooks to use Burning Sun funds for personal use rather than to evade taxes. The embezzled amount that police have discovered so far adds up to tens of millions of one.